Hey guys, this is Abhishek from Gadgetools.com, and today we are going to compare two devices, which are again the phablets in their own price segment. We have an affordable phablet over here, which is called Vopo 950. This is how the device looks like. It is very much similar in terms of the look and feel to the Note 2, uh, and also it has a larger display. If I compare it with Note 2 as of now, whereas this device, on the other hand, which is another rockstar device in its own price segment. Which is called Samsung Galaxy Note 2 is also pretty good, and we don't need to say much about this device. This device is already very popular when it comes to uh, users. So, especially we are going to compare these two phablets only because some of our readers actually requested for it. Because right now, if you want to buy a phablet, you can with with the latest Android version running on it. That's Jelly Bean. We have Jelly Bean running on this device. We have Jelly Bean running on this device as well, and you can actually opt for a phablet in case you don't have much price budget to actually purchase it so samsung galaxy note 2 is a premium phablet which you can buy for around 35 to 30 thousand in rupees in between that whereas if we talk about this device over here which is called zopo 950 you can buy this device for a price of around 15 to 16 thousand in rupees which is much lesser when it comes to price so this is an affordable phablet and this is a premium phablet you can think of and we will do a quick comparison in between these two now talking about the specs and the price especially the price is much higher for samsung galaxy note 2 as well as the specs are also pretty good for this device whereas we have pretty decent specs on this device as well which is we have a quad core processor on this device the display is a high definition display which is 1280 into 720 display and if we take a look over the display quality this is how the display looks like we have actually set the same wallpaper on both of these devices as you can see the display is much brighter in terms of the colors on this device both of these devices are running on full brightness as of now uh, i see a much brighter display on this device whereas i see a much soothing display as well as the clarity uh, is much better on this device as you can see the viewing if we if we talk about the viewing angles viewing angles on both of these devices are pretty nice here if we talk about the build quality the build quality of this device is pretty good as we already know samsung galaxy note 2 is pretty good in terms of the build quality we do not notice any kind of faults when it comes to the build quality on this device uh, and on this device again we have a very good build quality if not the best uh, if we talk about the weight, Zopo 950 is here as compared to the Samsung Galaxy Note 2. But again, it comes at a lower price, which is much lesser than uh, at which the Samsung Galaxy Note 2 comes. So display resolution on both of these devices is same. But if we talk about the screen, you have Super AMOLED screen on this Samsung Galaxy Note 2, whereas you have an IPS LCD display over here. And the pixel density on this display is slightly higher as compared to the pixel density which we get on Zopo 950. Now talking about the CPU, both of these devices have the same, uh, both, the, both of these devices have quad core CPU which is again quite comparable. Uh, if we talk about GPU, the GPU on this device is PowerVR SGX. 544 MP whereas you have Mali 400 MP GPU on Samsung Galaxy Note 2 which is uh, now if we take a look over the camera we have the same 8 megapixel camera on both of these devices but the quality of photos which you get from the 8 megapixel camera on Note 2 and uh, the 8 megapixel camera on Zopo 950 but the quality of photos which you get from the 8 megapixel camera on Note 2 you is actually better and we have just taken a photo using the back camera on both of these devices and this is how the photo looks like on Samsung Galaxy Note 2 which is pretty good in terms of the colors as well as if we take a look over the details which I see in this particular object or in this particular photo for this object is pretty good as well and if we take a look over here this photo is actually much more brighter and if we take a look over the actual scenario this is how the object looks like and it is not very bright at all but the photo is actually much more brighter over here using the camera on this device and if i try to zoom in the clarity of the object is again pretty good but not very detailed if you compare it with the samsung galaxy note 2 camera and it comes for a price and the price difference is much in between both of these two devices
so i can see much better colors on the display on samsung galaxy note 2 as you can see over there and this is how the display looks like on the sopo 950 as far as the video playback and the display is concerned the video is look looking nice on both of these devices as you can see and uh, it is pretty clear on each of these devices as you the battery on Samsung Galaxy Note 2 is 3100 mAh whereas you get 2500 mAh battery on Zopo 950. Now to conclude our comparison we would like to say that both of these devices are equally worth the price if you want to go for a premium tablet especially uh, because of the overall display because of the overall viewing angles the everything as far as the experience is concerned the software is much more smoother and much more optimized to run on this device by samsung so it is again justified for the price at which this device comes whereas zopo 950 on the other hand is again quite nice tablet and it is an affordable tablet so definitely you can't expect everything just like this tablet to be on this device but still it justifies the price of around 15 to 16 thousand rupees because you get a decent display a uh, slightly larger display in terms of the size uh, as compared to note 2 the display resolution is same on both of these devices which is the high definition resolution whereas you have super AMOLED display on note 2 you have ips lcd display over here but the clarity of the text and everything is also pretty good on this display as well on zopo 950 so it is an affordable tablet and it comes for a lower price again it is your choice if you want to go for an affordable tablet you can always go for this device and this device is again quite nice when it comes to the features it offers at the price at which comes uh, both in terms both on the software level as well as in the hardware level you get the latest version of android which is running on this device and you have the same version running on note 2 as well you won't get a very good camera on this device the display is little bit oversaturated on this device as compared to that but again uh, everything comes at a price so uh, that is again justified so we know that both of these device comes in a different price bracket but we did this comparison for those who can't afford a very premium tablet like this one they can go for a tablet like this which comes at a very less price definitely you won't get the same experience on zopo 950 as you get on note 2 but again this is a decent choice when it comes to affordable tablets all from us right now regarding the quick comparison of both of these devices let us know if you have any specific questions related to note 2 or zopo 950 we would love to help you thanks for watching this video you can like this video if this video helps you you can subscribe to our youtube video channel for more videos like this by clicking the subscribe button below